Darren, what do you like about this shoe in particular? Everything other than the travel. <laughs> it's a long way to get here, but once you get here, you get to shoot in a big group with your friends. You get to shoot a lot of arrows. The team event adds a little flavor to it because you try to pick up your partner as you go through. It's just a really fun event. The weather's been absolutely beautiful, and when the weather is beautiful here, you can't get a better archery tournament. I think Reading is probably one of the most challenging events that you shoot. Um, and I also think growing up shooting this really helped me in the other areas of archery. When I went to shoot ASA and it was 15 under, it's like, oh, this is half the distance that I'm used to shooting. And then Reading uh, is, in my opinion, the, the pinnacle of the field archery within the U.S. simply because all the shooters come to it, whether they're 3D or indoor, outdoor shooters or field guys. I build. Everything I do usually with my bow set up, I plan it for Redding. You gotta have a bow that's durable, you gotta have equipment that's ready and prepared, and you gotta have something that helps you aim and execute good shots, whether you're shooting 88 yards at an elk like this relatively flat, or you know, a 15 yard squirrel up a hill that can be kind of challenging as well. So, gotta have a, a setup that works with everything out here. You gotta be versatile. It's really not that many targets or that many arrows. Um, it's just the time in between that I think really adds up. And so if you're someone who's used to shooting a lot of arrows, this can be hard if you have a 45 minute wait before a target, you're basically starting cold. You know, it's a matter of staying loose and staying warm. I, I think if I've been shooting all day and I can take 30, 40 minutes and, and get up and shoot like it's nothing again, but uh, you, you know, you don't want to sit there and, and start taking a nap and then get up groggy and try to get back on the course. So part of the fun of Reading is the group you're with and if you're with a good group you should enjoy those downtimes too. So I tell myself, okay, if you can shoot six good ones there's no excuse not to shoot two. And so, you know, I step up and like I said, it's like game time, game face. And then as soon as we finish we're right back to teasing each other and messing around and having a good time. And I think that makes it a lot easier to get through the day, both physically and mentally. We are most famous for Bigfoot and the elk herd. The elk herd is where we have our shoot-offs. My, my tip that I don't necessarily want to give up, but all the good competitors probably know this, on the longest targets on the course, the wind is almost always left to right. So You shoot two of the, two of the elk out there with the orange dots at 88 yards. The wind can be blowing down here where you're standing, and it might not be blowing down there at the elk. Last year when I won the tournament on the shoot-off arrow, I aimed right here and I caught a pretty good shot right in the center. That's uh, usually what you got to deal with even on a day like today where it feels like there's no wind. There's still usually going to be just a little bit of movement from thermal activity or whatever it is, but it feels like there's nothing. I still like to favor that left side of the dot just a little bit. That's on all the longest, on all the longest shots, the 73 yard moose, the 88 yard elk and the 101 yard Bigfoot. Yes, shooting in the wind at this stuff in a normal day with wind is I think beneficial because again when those situations happen you know how to handle it. I also think a lot of it's mental, like obviously you have to know where to aim and you have to know where to make the shot, but in rain or wind or anything like that I know a lot of times people make excuses for missing and my thought is this is awesome, this is where I can make up points because in perfect weather people don't really miss. So anytime there's something like that I just know like now's crunch time, make it count.